You think you deserve a honeymoon? No falling in love under my watch. You work for me. How dare you have love? I had a manager who hated reading emails and would miss important issues slash meetings because of it. I even suggested a text to speech to make it less unpleasant, but he told me off. He spent a lot of time playing golf with clients and was mostly inaccessible. It got to the point where most of the team CC'd me. I was next on the totem pole so I could grant approvals for stuff like expense reports and help out on projects my manager was supposed to work on. So the manager's not doing jack shiz. Fool me once, strike one. Fool me twice, strike three. When I was getting married, I requested three weeks off for my honeymoon. Everyone knew I was getting married. My manager even congratulated me on the engagement when it happened. I had five weeks vacation accumulated and really didn't think it was gonna be a big deal, especially since I requested it nearly eight weeks in advance. So not only does OP have the vacation days, but she requested it months in advance. Then vacation request denied. <laughs> Email comes in from our time off system. I emailed the manager following up, left voicemails, and after a week, he finally replied to an email, probably after a golf game, and said, Look, we need dedicated people. If you think you can take three weeks off vacation, you need to reconsider your position here. Keep in mind, my request stated, vacation request for honeymoon. The manager already knew about this. Oh, God. I replied with, no consideration needed. My last date will be in three weeks. Let me know about transitioning duties. I forward this to HR, CCing manager in HR, and they set up the exit interview. But HR tells my manager to set up transition for my responsibilities. During my notice period, I even replied all to this email twice asking about transition plans since I didn't get any transition plan. I tell my team, they ask the manager what to do with my duties, and the manager says, you'll think about it, but doesn't do anything nor email about it. Four weeks later, I get a call from my old boss. Are you planning on coming in this week? Why would I? Because you work for me. Uh, not as of last week. Stop messing about. Get your but in the office. I told you my last day when you denied my vacation request. How about giving proper notice for transitions? HR asked you to develop a transition plan and to attend my exit interview. It's not my fault. You don't read any of your emails and are too busy playing golf. Click. I hang up and block his number, but screenshot the call log and sent it to the HR contact with an innocent, uh, should I be worried? Old manager thinks I still work for him. Savage. Savage. Nice. All right. Now here is the fallout. Uh-oh. 